So these are some some of my tips on fish lift cycling after doing it on my tank um, and to give you some pointers so you don't make the mistakes that I did. Uh, in summary, the uh, tips are use proper ammonia in your tank instead of using fish flakes. I will explain all of these things why in a bit. Get yourself a test kit. Make sure that you have a test kit so you can measure the water levels. Uh, thirdly, do water changes. Um, and I'll come to that in a, in a minute. So, essentially, the ammonia one. I started off my fish cycling with the fish flake method. You add some fish flakes, they decompose, they produce ammonia. The nitrogen cycle is ammonia, bacteria eats that, that makes nitrite. Ammonia eats that, that makes nitrate. Uh, nitrate is not as poisonous to fish as ammonia and nitrite. However, in your tank, you want zero parts per million ammonia and nitrite when you introduce fish. If you're going down the fish cycling route, which I think is a bit cruel because they're flying around in their own um, waste, um, that's going to go all over the place. They're going to be unhappy. I didn't want, them, want to do that to the fish. I wanted to wait until the tank was cycled. So, you're doing it that way. You probably bought a test kit. So you're going down the science route, and then you throw some fish flakes in going, hmm, I'll just pretend that I know how much ammonia is going to get produced. I never got an ammonia spike, so I bought this after about nine days because I couldn't work it out. Um, the home-based stuff is not online. You have to go into a store to get it. Um, people online have complained that it's not as strong as it is. When you put this in, there's a calculator I'll put in the comments that you can use for how much you need to put in. Um, if it doesn't rise up to the level that you want, just put a bit more in. Uh, as simple as. It, this is ammonia uh, hydroxide, so it's ammonia and water. It's perfectly safe. Another tip is they say it shouldn't soap when you get ammonia um, and it shouldn't have a scent to it either. <laughs> Don't take the lid off and take a big lungful of it like I did when I first bought it uh, to see if it smelled of anything because ammonia really stinks and I almost passed out. So, <laughs> don't do that. Um, the home based stuff seems fine. Uh, the second tip is get your test kit, do it every day, check your levels. The nitrite stuff, when I said you need to do your water changes, is because my nitrite ended up going off the scale. So, I put 10 parts of normal tap water with no nitrite in it to one part of my tank water and I could finally measure it on the scale. I got a difference. Instead of thick purple I got sort of a um, a lighter coloured purple um, by diluting it that far. So that just gives you an idea of how over nitrited a tank can be. I did a 90% water change on the tank and then by the next day my, uh, my nitrite levels were pretty much down to zero and then a few days after that I was topping back up to three parts per million a day of my ammonia and within 24 hours I had no ammonia, no nitrite and a little bit of nitrate produced from that and that's when you know that your tank's ready to go. Um, I was going to put some info on the API test kits, I've actually put that on another video so check out my other videos for that um, just to show you a quick tip on how to read the, the scales on the, on the spectrum when you do your tests. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Any questions, put them in the comments, I'd be happy to help.